Hey, it's James Raby. We have to say something here, but I don't want to say much. Thanks for listening to the Y105 FM Early Morning Show Radio On Demand Podcast. Love you. Listen to the new Britney Spears Elton John song. I'm curious what you think. You can always tell me by using the Y105 FM app. Just hit chat. Hi, it's James Raby on the Y105 FM Early Morning Show. A very special day today because the Ability Building Center is in, sorry, the Ability, Ability Building Community is in the studio today. Uh, it's Crystal Heim and Matt Lambert. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Fine and dandy. Now, we're here to talk about something that's coming up uh, next week, is it? Yes, Celebrating Abilities on September 10th at Little Thistle. Okay, we're going to talk more about that later. But to get to know each other a little bit, we have to play a game called 5 and 10. Okay. And Matt, you're going first. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Tell me things you cannot, five things in 10 seconds that you cannot yell when your kid is playing soccer. Five things you cannot yell when your kid is playing soccer. On your mark, get set, go. You suck, get off the field, uh, the other person's better. <laughs> um, um, you should have played a different game. Oh, you were so close. So close. That was good, though. I was trying to be radio appropriate. Well, and you were. And also, you got it right away. That's right. Yeah, it's very bad to yell. You suck. Yeah, yeah don't, don't, don't do that. Okay, Crystal. Uh, this, by the way, gives you zero points. You get one point here. If you can tell me five things that are useless when you're camping. On oh. your mark. Get set, go. Oh, this is terrible. I should be good at this. Um, okay, uh, a coffee maker. Um, oh my gosh, I'm terrible at this. Uh, Febreze. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't, wow. I'm terrible at this. Matt, you want to try and steal the uh, steal the point there? <laughs> Five yeah. things that so you are useless her, when you're camping. Do I get her two? Mm, if you want to, just gotta oh. say them again. All right, we're we're gonna skip the two. I'm just gonna try to. All right, I got right. this. Go. go. All right, you don't need. A blender, you don't need a toaster, you don't need an oven, you don't need a washer, and you don't need a dryer. Hey! Oh, not sure why I didn't go straight for Big the appliances. Big appliances. Wow. Yeah. Big appliances. Yeah. Unless you're in a camper, I guess. Then you can cheat but, and have but, all those things if you want you, them. Yeah, okay. Have you, have you ever seen a camper that has a washer and dryer? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my, my mother and father-in-law have one in their, yep. in their camper. My well, I need you to find a front door somewhere, perhaps on the camper, and shut it. Yep. You got it. Yep. Wow. <laughs> That's a very fancy camper. It's, yeah, it's, it's very nice. It's Is that one nice. of those ones that you, 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 uh, you spend $16,000 hauling it, paying for gas? It's a, it's a big fifth wheel. It's, it's a very, very big fifth wheel. Uh, right. But it is all the bells and whistles that you could possibly want from oh. it. Yes. That's a new thing now. To yep. me, that well, I'd be camping. I'm okay with that kind of camping. I do not like camping in a tent. <laughs> no? I've, I've done it once, so I can say I've done it and tried it, and the best part about it was the shower at the campground the next morning. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it just made you feel clean again. All right, and uh, we're back to Crystal. He has a point. Let's see if you can get a point here. Okay. Things people do at the Ability Building Community. Oh, yes. I've On your mark, this. get set, go. Uh, they work. Um, they love life. They participate in rec and leisure activities. They are participating members within the community, um, and they just love to meet new people. All right. There's five. Woo! Okay. Yes. I love All right. It. Now you're tied. Matt, let's see if you can take the whole game here. <laughs> All right. Things you drink in the morning. Things you drink in the morning. On your mark, get set, go. Tea, coffee, water, milk, orange juice. Wow. Just like that. I did that in like three seconds. <laughs> I could have kept going. Gosh. Could have given me less time. I well, got a list of breakfast stuff for you. I'm not going to lie. I didn't make these the most difficult. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I, like we that. appreciate that. You're welcome. You're very welcome. We'll come back with more from the Ability Building Community, Crystal Heim and Matt Lambert, in just about 20 minutes here on Y105 FM's early morning. Cars, trucks, tractors. Song, but it's one of those songs where it's deceiving. If you really check out the video and watch Harry Styles and... You're going to say, oh, that's so sad. Why is he so happy? Because sometimes you put on a happy face, kid. You're listening to Y105 FM's Early Morning Show. My name is James Raby. We got sun for a while, and then later this afternoon, a chance of rain. Also tonight, a chance of rain. In the studio, we have Crystal Heim and Matt Lambert from ABC, the Ability Building Community. And we're going to be talking more seriously about what's coming up and the celebration that is happening for ABC. But your kids are going to be going back to school soon, Crystal. Yes, next week. And I'm sure you remember... Matt, going back to school. I do remember going back to school. So uh, what happened that you'll never forget in your freshman year? Hmm. Uh, you want me to go first? Yeah, you go. Okay. <laughs> I just So I grew up in Pine Island. 
So all of the school back then was connected. Every mm-hmm. grade was in one school. Now it's a little different with the elementary school. Um, so there was just hallways that you could not navigate because there would be seniors waiting at the end. Oh. Unfortunately, where all the seniors had their lockers was the men's bathroom. Oh, so yes. whenever I would have to go to the bathroom, you would kind of just have to run through it quick. Hopefully no one I saw you run into the bathroom <laughs> because, you know, unfortunately it's pretty terrible bullying, but people would follow you into the bathroom and mess with you while you're trying to Oh, 100%. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm sure it still happens today, which is terrible. But uh, that's probably what I remember most from my freshman year of high school is yeah. just uh, trying to navigate that hallway and uh, going downstairs and using those bathrooms instead. Wow. Crystal? Wow. Um, I think the thing I remember most is, and this has stuck with me, but um, my my one of my favorite teachers, Mr. Allen, he, every time we would complain about homework or having to do something, and we said, oh, do we have to do it? He would say... Uh, no, you don't have to do anything in this world besides live and die. But what you choose not to do may have consequences. Wow. <laughs> and, and, and it would be so funny because all of the students would challenge on it. He's like, well, you have to breathe. He's like, no, you don't. You You're can just going to die. Right. <laughs> he, just, he just was like, but that was his thing. You don't have to do anything in this world besides live and die. Sounds like a teacher that's been around for a while. Yeah, he I was, was going to say, was yeah. he about 30 years into teaching? He had seen all these children and just he became was. extremely pessimistic? Uh, well, he Makes was sense. such a great teacher, but yeah, he was he was at the very end of his teaching. Hand rope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mr. McCarroll was a science teacher, and in my freshman year, Every day, he told me the following joke. He told all of us the following joke. Every single day. Did you hear about the constipated jitterbug? <laughs> Couldn't jit. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Every day. Every single wow. day. He thought, I don't know if he thought it was hilarious or he just, it was like his year-long prank. And now you've got a party joke every time you're somewhere new. I do. And, <laughs> and a couple of years later, he did something I loved. The big bullies in the class. Big muscly dudes uh, had this game where they'd punch each other, try and catch each other unaware, and punch each other as hard as they could in the arm. A great game, I guess. I don't know. I don't. Ever, I don't. I was not into that kind of male bonding stuff, so I don't know. But Mr. McCarroll couldn't stand it. He hated that game, and he was he was the kind of guy that probably did it in high school. He just was that kind of guy, but he, he was more mature than that now. Well, even though I, that joke tells you maybe he wasn't, but he really was. He. Uh, uh, one of the kids, being the biggest, toughest one, was standing there doing something, and McCarroll came up and just pop right in the, we couldn't do it now, pop right in the arm with his knuckle into the muscle. Oh, no. And the guy said, hey, what'd you do that for? I thought that was the game. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do it anymore in his class. Nope, that'll show him. Not at all. <laughs> it is Y105 FM's early morning show. Here's what you missed on the... Representing about 15,000 Minnesota nurses said Thursday members will strike for three days beginning September 12th if labor agreements cannot be reached. Good morning, I'm James Raby. It is the Y105 FM Early Morning Show News Minute. Rain this weekend? We'll find out in just about 60 seconds. The strike notice follows weeks of unsuccessful negotiations and involves seven health care systems in the Twin Cities and Duluth. Issues include wages and staffing levels, which they say are way too low. More news you'll find on the Y105 FM app this morning. Lottery registration open for deer hunt at Olmstead County Park. Rochester woman loses thousands of dollars to phone scam. And last chance to see Elmer's toy and auto collection is this weekend. And the rabies shot of Florida. Florida! Man recently broke into a Little Caesars while dressed in boxer shorts, socks, and a Little Caesars apron. Chad Corn, Corn. Horn walked into the restaurant through an unlocked door. He took two bottles of water and a brownie. That's not much of a, of a ripoff there. He was climbing into the ceiling to escape when he fell and triggered the store alarm. Deputies arrested him as he was crawling out the drive through window. They say they knew he didn't work there by the way he was dressed. Hey, he had the little Caesar's apron on. Y105 FM weather for today. We got sun and a chance of showers, a high around 86. The rain should come in about 5 p.m. That's a nice work day full of sun. And as soon as you get off, ha-ha. Chance of thunderstorms and clear tonight and a low 55. Tomorrow and Sunday, sunny and 73. It is perfect, a perfect time to go golfing. So quick, get to the Y105 FM app and hit seize the deal so you can get our golf card, eight courses, 
18 holes each for, well, it's $99, but if you use the code GOLF, you'll get 40% off. I know, but you got to do it right now because, man, that thing is selling out. This is the Y105 FM Early Morning Show. Right now, it is 70. Good morning. It is Y105 FM's Early Morning Show. My name is James Raby. If you have not yet entered to win the Micah Buble tickets, please get to Y105 FM's app and hit the little yellow ticket. Maybe it's a golden ticket. And you could end up seeing Michael Buble at the XL Energy Center this month, like in a week or two. So just quick, go do that. We have a bunch of pairs of tickets to give away. In the studio with me this morning from ABC, the Ability Building Community, is Crystal Heim and Matt Lambert. And tell me about this, this celebration of ABC that's coming up, Crystal. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Saturday, September 10th at Little Thistle, um, we are having an event called Celebrating Abilities. Uh, we're going to have all kinds of fun for everybody in the community. Um, we will have a dunk tank. We'll have kids games. We're going to have pumpkin painting um, we have Plinko that you can play and you can win um, gift cards from local restaurants um, and there'll be live music and food trucks as That's well cool. and of course beer for sale too because it is that little thistle yes <laughs> uh, Matt when when you when you talk about the ability building community what do you what do you tell people it is the most unique place that I've ever worked at Every day is different. Every experience is different. You never know what you're going to get. But the one thing I will say what you get is fun and genuine interest. And Mm -hmm. I think something like Celebrating Abilities really helps highlight that because we do have a lot of our population there. And it is an experience where we're not, you know, we're not working together. So we can have a little bit more fun and relax a little bit. So I, I would just say overall, if you want to get a good snapshot of what ABC looks like, I would say come to Celebrating Abilities. Well, and it's important because it's also a fundraiser, yes. and and you all need some money. The, the 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 situation with the lockdown and then staffing has really been hard on you. Yes, it has. Um, yeah, about ninety percent of our population are back, um, but unfortunately, they're on very limited schedules. Um, so this, the money that we're going to raise at this event is incredibly important to the programs and services. And we have some incredible sponsors, um, American Waterworks and um, Rochester Plumbing and Heating, our beverage and mug sponsor, um, Wright, um, Wright Brock uh, Real Estate Advisors is our dunk tank sponsor. So Randy Brock will be in the dunk tank. <laughs> He's a brave with- man. I can, I'm can. i terrified <laughs> of dunk tanks. I really yeah, am. Yeah, so come dunk Randy Brock, uh, Sheriff Torgerson, Betsy Sainer. I'm trying to straw on our Marcus Sherrill's in there. Right. But I haven't He's not him. scared of anything. He'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him that the next time you see him. But, yes, yeah, so all the funds are going back to our programs and services. Um, and, you know, I think – the pandemic kind of slowed down and everyone went back to normal and assumed that we were able to as well, but that's just not our reality. We're down 60 staff. Um, we have many individuals served working very limited schedules um, and the programs need help and support right now. They do. And you are just hit by a catalytic converter theft for crying out loud. We were. So not a fun way to start our week. But no. uh, Monday morning they started up the vans. They sounded a little weird. <laughs> a little loud. Um, yeah. So four catalytic uh, converters were stolen out of our vans on Sunday. And thank goodness you have insurance. But still, that puts puts those four vans out of commission until you can get them fixed. Yep. And, and you need the vans to transport people. Yeah. About 40 individuals served had to be rerouted. Um, and we're still still today i think they said that was impacting it will continue to impact next week because two of those buses aren't back up right well and there was a story in the community a little while ago about a woman who was thrilled to be able to have a uh what was it it was a it was a hajib that was a special like a medical hajib that they uh, were using at mayo clinic and that's made at abc but that's not just the only thing y'all do no yeah so yeah those surgical hoods are made at abc and it's really cool how mayo was able to use that but yeah no we do so much. There's independent living services. There's in-home supports. There's um, we go out into the community and work job sites. We have jobs within our um, building. I highly encourage people to come and take a tour at ABC because the crews that they see in the community is just scratching the surface of what we do. Awesome. Well, thanks for hanging out with me this morning. I appreciate it. You're good sports to get up the butt crack of dawn. Oh wait, you have two, <laughs> Matt. That's you. You're getting yeah, up the butt me. crack of dawn. That's you me. have two kids. You were up. Working out before the show. Yeah, my crazy comic craze group. At uh, four thirty, I wake up for them, so they're a crazy group. But don't don't you mean the Comet? 
Comet. Comet's craze. Comet? No, Comet. That's what it looks Comet's like. K-O dash Met. <laughs> is Comet. I know your Comets. I know. It just, it's always, it's always been one of those things like, it's Comet. No, it's not. Yeah, every cast and person driving in from town right now is going, it's Comet. <laughs> and you're awesome. I love you to death. I do. I do. It's uh, Y105 FM's early morning show. That is Crystal and Matt from the, uh, the Ability Building community in Rochester. Up next, the 8 a.m. all music hour. It's 105 minutes of commercial. We have studio today. It is Crystal Heim and Matt Lambert from the Ability Building community. And you are celebrating ABC at Little Thistle. Tell us about that. Yeah. Uh, so on September 10th at Little Thistle from 4 to 8 p.m., uh, we will have Dunk Tank, live music, food trucks. Um, we will have Plinko and a 50-50 raffle, all to raise funds for Ability Building community. And if at any time... Sheriff Torgerson, when he was just a just a deputy, gave you a ticket. This would be a good time to come and get him back by by getting him in the dunk tank. Yes, absolutely. He will be in our dunk tank along with Randy Brock, mm-hmm. um, hopefully Betsy Singer, uh, maybe Marcus Sherrills. But yes, come see Sheriff Torgerson in the dunk tank, um, and also our executive director will be in the dunk tank too. That's awesome. He's thrilled. And Matt, <laughs> it's really important for this money to get raised. Yeah, absolutely. For our programs and services, it's that's 100% where it goes to. That's the great thing about raising money for ABC is I can literally show you where the money goes towards. Uh, from celebrating abilities, this is going to go to helping so much alleviate what the pandemic has done to ABC as a whole and hopefully get us back on track. It'd be great. And you use the money for all kinds of different programs. It's not just the in-house workshop. It's other things. Right. We have five different programs at ABC, and I highly encourage anyone to come take a tour. Um, we All those services, uh, those funds will go back into to help support them. All right, give me the basics again about the event at Little Thistle. Yeah, absolutely. So September 10th at Little Thistle uh, from 4 to 8, and we will have food trucks, dunk tank, uh, kids games, pumpkin painting, all kinds of fun stuff. And we have some great sponsors, too, so make sure to check out the sponsor signs for the local businesses that will be supporting the event. Cool. Crystal, Matt, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thank thanks you. for having us. In less than 20 minutes, it is the Y105 FM early morning show, Raby Shots. This time, a guy who broke into uh, Little Caesars and, and, well, stole the dumbest... Snoring, dry mouth, morning headache... Lip-syncing hat. When you don't know the words, just say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Seriously, you can't tell. Your lips are moving, so everyone thinks you're lip syncing properly. You're welcome, and that's thanks to Pat Benatar on the Y105 FM Early Morning Show. Are you ready to be wide awake? If a triple shot of espresso wakes you up, then I'm certain a triple shot of rabies shots will absolutely get you all booing. Wide open eyes. So first of all, uh, the New York Post says tickets, baby shots are dough heads in the news. All right, just want to make sure that was clear. The New York Post says tickets for tonight's Serena Williams match at the U.S. Open are going for wild amounts because it could be her final match. And I have zero, zero hate for Serena Williams or people that love tennis, but tickets are selling for as much as $48,000. I, I, that just doesn't make sense. If we would stop paying those, well, not you and me, we're not paying that price. If people would stop paying that price, they'd stop being that price. Oh, it would just take some self-determination. Um, Reddit and MASH Magazine say some Dunkin' Donuts customers are upset with the chain for charging extra for extra pumps of coffee flavoring. People have been posting pictures of the receipt showing a $0.10 cent upcharge for each extra pump over five. Now, you get five free pumps. And you're mad that there's a 10 cent upcharge after that? Oh, for cry I. Duncan's corporate office does not recommend the upcharge and says franchisees can't charge more than 10 cents per pump. So that's what they're doing. And I, all I can think is, you're angry about this? I'm upset. I want more, but I don't want to have to pay for that more. Ah! If you go to a restaurant and order a Caesar salad with chicken, do you say, give me extra chicken, but you better not charge me for it? I'm no, I mean, I'm, I'm not here to, you know, kiss Duncan's butt. I'm a local coffee guy. But come on, for great corn's sake. And then we're going to wrap up the rabies shops with rabies shops. <laughs> oh, it's Friday. To Bel Air Shore, Florida. Florida! Men were recently ticketed for using umbrellas at the beach. 
Pedro Rivera used his umbrella because he has skin cancer and needs to protect himself. The city's former mayor is an attorney and is representing Pedro and the other offender. He says the law is unconstitutional because umbrellas are a common beach item. The judge is set to hear the case for both men later this month, and I can't imagine anything. I can't imagine a scenario where an umbrella at the beach is a bad thing. If you're getting into umbrella fights, all right, but I have not heard much about umbrella fights. Oh, that's because they banned them at the beach. Oh, but maybe, just maybe, they're trying to avoid skin cancer. That's a smart thing. In the old days, people did it. They called it a parasol, which is literally, if I remember correctly, French for against the sun. Yeah. So, anyway, is it French? I don't know. Um, I think Pedro has a pretty good case. Ticketed for using an umbrella at the beach. You're ruining my view. If someone said that, but, 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 so? The, the beach. A lot of things ruin my view. You're ruining my view, buddy. <laughs> Has the world gone crazy, or am I just wearing my crazy eyeglasses? It's Y105 FM's early morning show. Have a hell of a weekend. If you're a Michael Buble fan, hey, it's James Raby. Thank you so much for listening to the Y105 FM early morning show radio on demand podcast. I hope you'll subscribe and tune in Monday through Friday between 6 and 10 for more fun than you can shake a stick at.